If you want to know how to turn on and off different features using feature toggles, some of its advantages, and see a simple implementation in AM, then keep watching. Hi, I am Manuel Gutierrez from thelighthouse.co, and I make videos that help you learn about different programming topics like AM, Docker, TensorFlow, Unity, and more. So, if you're new here, hit the subscribe and the bell notification buttons below so that you don't miss a thing. You might have already been using something similar to feature toggles when you have code that enables or disables certain functionalities by, for example, using a simple if to block or allow the execution of portions of code. With feature toggles, you can keep the current code that you had for a previous implementation and without modifying the original functionality, add the new one as another flow of the application. Then you can enable one or the other at runtime by using a flag without needing a deployment. Finally, you may decide to remove the feature toggle and the original code from your source code repository once the new feature is stable or the toggle is no longer needed. Some advantages of having feature toggles are deploy the original and the new functionality and switch between them without a redeploy or rollback, test possibly unstable or incomplete features in production, if there is a dependency between the new feature and another team or application, you could deploy and have the new feature disabled until the other system is ready. AM already has support for feature toggles. So, let's first create a simple app using Adobe's archetype, then add the configuration for enabling or disabling the feature, add the code required for a simple toggle, and finally test it inside AEM. If you're not familiar with how to create an AEM application using Maven, you can watch my creating an AEM application using Maven and Adobe's archetype video. So let's create the new AEM feature toggles application by using Adobe's archetype. I will provide the parameters in just one line so that it is easier to execute. For configuring the feature toggle, I will go to the feature toggles app, click on the config folder, and then create a file named org.apache.sling.featureflags.impl.configuredfeature-someFeature.xml. I will define name as some feature, a description, and I will disable the feature by default. Go to the class where you want the feature toggle. In this case, I'm going to add it into the hello world sling model located inside the core module. First, import the feature class and then inject it into the model by using the OSGI service annotation. Let's say that as part of the current production implementation, we have another string being concatenated into the message at the end of the init method. Now, given that what we want is to be able to switch back and forth between using the new and the current implementations, let's add a simple if using the feature that we defined inside the conditional. And if it is enabled, let's add the new implementation that we want to try and keep the current implementation as part of the else. I know, I know, it is a simple example, but you can imagine more complex scenarios from here. For now, let's disable the tests for the model so that the tests pass. Yes, I know, not a really good practice change into the apps directory and build and deploy it. Make sure that you have AM app and running. Open the homepage 
for your new Feature Toggles example site inside AEM. Look for the Hello World component or add it into the page and check that it has what we called the current implementation. Go to the Felix console, look for the configured feature configuration, then click on the some feature and enable the feature. Go back to the page where you have the component and refresh the page. You should be able to see the text for the new implementation. Awesome! Congratulations and thanks for watching! And if you like the video, please hit subscribe.